We will be closed on Monday, May 31st, in the service of Memorial Day. Normal business hours will resume on Tuesday, June 1st. We'll go off for the trustees. <coughs> and so, Trustee Falco, you've got the first shot. I'd like to add on to what the mayor said about Mike DeVivo and uh, his commitment to our community for the many, many years that he was involved. In addition to that, I only had a short time to know Mike, and with my experience with Mike, when the road district issue was coming up, a lot of things were talked about. The vehicles were talked about, the buildings were talked about, uh, land was talked about. Mike and our, my conversation with Mike, though, was about the employees. And Mike told me, I guarantee you that nothing will happen with the road district in, unless my employees are included in that. So as a test of Mike's character in the short time that I knew him, uh, I, was, I was quite impressed. And in addition to that, if we, if we could just have a moment of silence for Mike, too, at this point, that would be great. Thank you. wanted to get off, uh, get off the ground running and uh, start to accomplish some things for the park. Um, I found out the other day that I was going to be co-chairing the parks. So um, I put my you know, feelers out there and uh, got to work right away. Um, actually, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, a group from Sag Moraine um, last week at the park. And um, they basically do a lot of native planting. And what they had said was that they are willing to come out and show us how to plant a couple of flower beds out there in the sensory garden. Um, they're a nonprofit organization, so they don't charge anything. And uh, we talked about the flower boxes as well, planting them. Um, one of the things we, uh, Amy had uh, informed me was that the flower boxes needed better drainage. So I uh, actually spoke to John Robinson, and he uh, assured me that he's going to fix the drainage in the boxes. So I decided to donate one whole box full of herbs um, so that anybody that comes into the garden, especially the kids, can go and they can feel and touch and smell. And, and that's what I thought the Sunsbury Garden was all about. So uh, they're, they're willing to work with us on this. And also, they also do provide some educational training once the, uh, the native plantings are done. So if we ever wanted to have classes with the kids, they would come out and they would actually teach the kids about uh, what the purpose of all those and uh, they use a lot of uh, plants that are medicinal as well which grow which pretty much grow wild so um, that was one of the things and then um, another thing is in the future in addition to that Nicole and I will be working on setting up a donor program to secure some funding for an all-inclusive children and special needs playground in splash pad um, I've actually spoke to so many of the residents already in the community, and they are just, they're ecstatic, and they can't wait to give. So, hopefully, once we're all established as committees today, then we can move forward. And that's my report. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> next, we trust you guys to Thank you, sir. Reporting for the Parks and Recreation Committee, our Touch a Truck event was a great success. An impressive amount of our resident families attended and were absolutely delighted. We are looking forward to many more of these wonderful events and a special thank you to our staff and volunteers who helped put this all together. It was a very well received treat and we very much appreciated it. Next, the Parks Committee had a consensus to recommend a pedestrian path to the board and it was received with a unanimous yes. We'll be going over the details of this in today's agenda for the vote. Next, we provided a few samples of message boards, sorry, we were, we were provided a few samples of message boards for Heritage Park ranging in price from $1,300 to $2,400, I'm sorry, $24,000. These sites could be used for providing park visitors with important and useful info of the parks and park events. The committee was in favor of testing out 
one less expensive sign to see how well it was received and how it held up to the natural elements and wear and tear. The consensus was, of course, the less, less cost one, $1,300. Uh, we'll keep everybody abreast of the situation. That ends my report. Thank you, Trustee Hill. Uh, Trustee Rogers. Uh, reporting on behalf of the FEST committee, we are continuing to meet, we meet weekly now. Um, the, this year is a little bit different because we are at a different location. We met out there yesterday, walked through the new site with staff, and um, believe that you know everything, hopefully, from your cross will go smoothly at the new location. Um, I just wanted to take this time to pre-congratulate and welcome the very first members of the Ability Awareness Committee that will be named leader in the meeting. I know we're all extremely excited to hit the ground running. And in line with the purpose of the Ability Awareness Committee's mission to support community members of Homer Glen with unique abilities, I'd also like to publicly acknowledge that May is National Apraxia Awareness Month. Apraxia is an extremely challenging lifelong speech disorder that affects one in a thousand children. Uh, great respect goes out to these children and their families for their resilience, effort, and determination. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee. Trustee Hi, I don't really have much to report other than I'm extremely excited about getting our appointments to our committees tonight, as well as I did attend our very successful Touch a Truck event last week. We had great weather, great attendance. Uh, I highly encourage our families to be coming out and enjoying the twice a month uh, farmer's market and I think there's going to be other things that might be involved as well and I look forward to Homer Fest. I think after the turnout that we had last week at the Touch a Truck and Farmer's Market, I think we're going to have a great successful fest this year and I think everybody really needs it. So thank you. Thank you, Trustee. Uh, next would be the village clerk. I have nothing to report. Village attorney. No report, Your Honor. Public safety officials? Quick one, Your Honor. On the heels of what uh, Jennifer said about the uh, Touch a Truck event, we were very happy uh, to be a part of that event. It was a great turnout and uh, it was great to see the community there. I also wanted to remind everybody that the Sheriff's Office has a, a mobile phone app that you can download for free, and that's for iPhone as well as Android. Um, here, let me just grab this real quick. My prop. You can download it by scanning this, or you can go to our website, www.wilcosheriff.org. And again, it's a free download, everybody. With that, Your Honor, that's, oh, one last thing. Kids are getting out of school, high school. So you parents with high school drivers, please remind them that little kids are going to be out playing in that. So tell them to pay attention. Don't be texting while driving. And remember, especially going through neighborhoods, to take it nice and slow. It's the safety of everybody involved that we are concerned about. Uh, thank you. That's my report. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Uh, village manager? No report, Mr. Mayor. Next will be public comment. If you keep your remarks for three minutes, it will be wonderful. Thank you. First will be John Walters. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody uh, and the mayor for um, considering me for the committee assignments that I requested, and I uh, hope uh, that I get one, and that uh, I'll uh, live up to everybody's expectations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dave Ramirez. Can I get that right? Yeah. I don't think it's here for the first item on the list, but. Hello, how are you? I didn't get to be here two weeks ago when you guys were invested, and you know that's not like me, so I'm sorry about that. So I'm here, all by myself, to congratulate you this time. All the new board members on your election, I wish you every success because, and this is my line, even though Christine took it, 
because your success is our village's success. Congratulations. Good luck to the whole board. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next is a consent agenda. All matters listed under the consent agenda are considered routine by the village board and will be enacted by one motion. Is there a motion, a motion to approve the following items? The accounts payable for the period of April 30th, 2021 through May 27th, 2021 in the amount of $786,868.18 and the treasurer's report for the month ending April 30th, 2021. Is there a motion? So moved. Trustee Rogers. Second. Any discussion? Please call. Please call the roll. Trustee Lama? Aye. Trustee Rainbirds? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Trustee Consolino? Aye. Trustee Fidelco? Aye. And Trustee Pizmino? Aye. Okay. Motion carries. All right, legislative. Is there a motion to approve ordinance number 21-023, an ordinance approving one, the rezoning of the subject property from an A2 rural residential to an R2 single family residential, and two, a variance to establish the front line of its corner lot as Dixon Lane, the longest lot line adjacent to the street right of way for certain real property located at 14327 Dixon Lane, Former Glen, Illinois. Village of Former Glen, case number HG 2109 AB. Do I have a motion? So moved. Trustee Rogers. Second. Second. Trustee Pazmino. Is there any discussion? I just want to make the comment that the Planning Commission voted 6 to 0 to adopt the staff's recommendation. Re recommended for Everyone's happy with it, so okay. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Rogers. Aye. Trustee Pesmino. Aye. Trustee Lama. Aye. Trustee Fialco. Aye. Trustee Consolino. Aye. And Trustee Rangers. Aye. Motion carries. Next, is there a motion to approve the mayor's appointments to the village's committee as outlined on the supplement sheet? Do I have a motion? Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, sir, I have a discussion on the item. So are we discussing these one by one or just with anything that's that's on all all? Um, I would like for you to reconsider um, having Mr. John Walters added to the Environment Committee. I think Mr. Walters has proven to be more than an upstanding citizen. Always looking after our environment, and I would love to have him on my committee, sir. And I would very much like for you to reconsider adding him uh, as a member to that committee. Thank you. I would like to second. Maybe. The, the point is that the motion to uh, approve the appointments 
is the most expensive, the most on the table to be brought by. It uh, needs to be approved by the person who made the motion, and then we move back to the second by Trustee Powell. Can I have some clarification on something? If we do motion to table this right now, that means we're going to not have committees Correct. set for another three weeks. Exactly. For this specific committee? No, for all the committees. All, all this is all one motion. Just wanted to bring that to attention. Unless we go to the site, what you want to do with it? Can we do a special meeting for this until we all? agreement on who we want on the committees? Doesn't have to be two weeks. Can, can I say something just for, to help out? Um, can you guys approve the rest of the committees and then come back at the next meeting and, and approve your current committee as it stands and then add John Walters at a later date? Because you really do want to proceed with your committee. Correct. Well, that's why I asked if these were one by one. No. They're not. So it's, it's, it is a group. It is a group that's that's on there right now. And you read every single solitary person's name in your too. It's, uh, it's going to take some time. And right now, I'm not in a position to uh, put someone else on. So if I'm hearing you right, Eric, you're going to step up. Correct. If there's no one we could reconsider at another time, doesn't I have to be another time. Another time. But right now, I'm not going to consider. The option is up to you. We can either go ahead and approve this, and then we can talk about it, uh, or... It's nobody's intention to hold up the committees. It's just that we think that he would be a very valuable asset to the Environmental Committee, and it's something that both Mr. Pesmino and I are supposed to be assigned to. I would suggest that in the interim, obviously, it's a public meeting, and he can definitely attend and, and, and voice his input as well. Is it possible for him to be appointed at a later date? Yes. So I need an answer so I can get this thing going. I think it's, I think it's logistical. There's yeah. a motion on the floor that needs to be voted on. Right. Right. Well, that's what I'm asking. For the, the motion to be. We're going to get a well. For the motion to be. The motion to be. The motion to be. The Can we have an emergency meeting afterwards? No. That way we're not holding it up? Not right now. Not now, but after today. Before the two weeks of the next meeting. Well, we can't all get together because it's... Uh... Can we announce a public meeting? Well, we wouldn't. First of all, we would you had a special meeting, but you're not going to be able to have an emergency meeting. That's not it's an involved in the uh, definition of emergency. I think if I'm hearing right, you can be added at a later date once you have maybe an opportunity to sit down with the mayor and uh, Mr. Walters. To be honest, I mean, can we have a guarantee that Mr. Walters is added to the committee so we can get past this? Not tonight. Can we come up with a date that a decision could be made by? Why don't we sit down with him again? For the record, sir, Mr. Walters has been a past member. Um, I'm not even sure why he was taken off the last time. And you have two chairmen that are asking you to put him on, so I really don't see what the problem is. <coughs> it's not on the list right now, so I'm not going to vote on it. For the record, I would just like to state that I'm extremely disappointed and I'm hoping that you would reconsider this later. Thank you. So we're going to table it, or are we going to call the question as two motions to approve? So is there a motion to approve? It's ready to vote. Oh, all right. Well, then they got to vote on it. So could you call the vote? Trustee Pesmino? No. Trustee Lana? Yes. Trustee Fialco? No. Trustee Consolino? No. Trustee Reinhardt? No. Trustee Rogers? Yes. So there, it appears to be a discourse on how 
the committee should be structured regarding chairs and co-chairs. While these committees have run perfectly smoothly for the past six years, we now have this discourse. Therefore, I am not appointing anyone to the committee beginning in July of 2021. The board will hold weekly committee of the whole workshops for every trustee to participate in all the now dissolved committees. This is really unfortunate. In my opinion, it's a slap in the face to all the volunteers who have act actively participated and contributed to each of these committees over the last six years. So Matt and I will work on the schedule and we'll advise the trustees of the committee of the whole schedule when we get that finished up. Can I ask a question? Sure. The committee members that I just was able to notify yesterday that they are now part, they were part of the committee, are no longer part of the committee. I just want to clarify that. Right now, no. Can I, can I ask a question? However, since they are not appointed tonight, Mickey, we can still meet as planned. Since we're not officials, I mean, not sworn in as a committee, we can still proceed as planned. Thank you. Okay. Appointments of the Village's Planning Commission. Is there a motion to approve the Mayor's reappointments of Dave Stanley and Lynn McGarry to the Planning Commission? So moved. Second. Uh, is there any discussion? No discussion. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Lana? Aye. Trustee Fialco? Aye. Trustee Consolino? Aye. Trustee Reinders? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Aye. And Trustee Gasmino? Aye. Motion carries. Next, approval of changes to the 2021 meeting calendar for the. Well, we don't have to read that one right now. But it's that one basically there's no part of do I need a motion to table that, or does it just automatically fall off? There should be, there should be a motion. Motion to table. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, proposed intergovernmental agreement with Homer Township regarding the creation of a pedestrian path on Homer Township property. Is there a motion to approve the proposed intergovernmental agreement with Homer Township regarding the creation of a pedestrian path on Homer Township property? So moved. Trustee Rogers. Second. I just want to say that that path is a wonderful, a wonderful symbol of our new relationship with the township, and this has been a long time in coming. And I'm ecstatic as well as my fellow trustees and thousands of other people that this is going, this is a possibility finally. I would add that it's also a testament to Mike and Vivo. We put a lot of work into it. Maybe there's something we can do to memorialize that path in his name. Mm -hmm. Great. I think that'd be great again, yeah. uh, All right. And Trustee Castellino, I've got your job for the second time. So. Thank you. Just so you know, the town, township has memorial plaques and stones in the process. Um, to be installed in both things, that's the way I understand it. So I don't want to spend, you know, do, doing double work, so you might want to check with them first. Um, I'd like to also add uh, that the cooperation between the village and the township uh, like this is unheard of. Uh, Mayor Yukich, Steve Balich, and Brent Porfilio, uh, and uh, quite a few other people behind the scenes made this happen in a short amount of time. Mike DeVivo had talked about this during the best committee, and he did, he had the drawings already made up for the most part, and he also had made a commitment to have that road or pathway put in uh, before April 6th, or right around April 6th. So he, he, he was involved from the beginning, and uh, I, I want to say congratulations to both the village of Homer Glenn Mayor, Yukich, and, and the people at the township for, for doing this, because uh, long, not too long ago, it was said that this could never be done. 
So congratulations to both sides. And this would be great for the village and for the township. I do have one question, just one. Um, it says that due to timing concerns with Homer Fest, the path is not going to be paved at this time. Do we have a date in the IGA where it will be paved by? Well, definitely after the after the fest. Right. Okay. Yeah, there's um, no way they can get that done that fast. Everything's got to get packed, and then some of it has to be dug back out uh, when it goes finish it to put the asphalt. In. And I just want to acknowledge and, and thank you know making sure that it, you know they've got the ramps on the sidewalk for you know wheelchair accessibility and uh, strollover. So you know, thank you for all that. Whoever designed that. <laughs> and quick question, did, did we heard back the revisions that I had been put out there? Are we good with those? Or yes, yes, they are. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the township side of the Okay, next. I, I have to do roll call, so. Roll call, please. Uh, Trustee Consolino? Aye. Trustee Reinders? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Pesmino? Aye. Trustee Lama? Aye. And Trustee Piazza? Aye. Motion carries. Next would be is there a uh, motion to reconsider the approval of a proposed proposal from Imperial Surveillance for the installment and maintenance of the solar power system and service contract previously approved by the Village Board on May 12, 2021. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, the discussion. I uh, didn't want to step on it before you say saying something. Uh, the discussion I'd like to have about this uh, goes back to the service agreement on this. Uh, actually, that's H seven, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll, my discussion should be at H seven and H six. Okay. Uh, what we did on this one though is. We've got a time limit on it, and we changed the uh, percentage they want to raise every month. So it's down to 2% or a year. Uh, it's down to 2%, and right now, that we're going to have it down as one year for the first one to see how it goes. That would be up to the board discussion. Um, I think we'll wait until age 7 to mention the board. That's open ended. Okay, in order, All right. Right. In, in order to approve. Uh, the new contract, obviously, the old one from that was voted on the last meeting, we had to reconsider that and, and, and put it aside. And we have to do it at the meeting following the approval, so that's why it's up today. So this is the first step, and then the next step will be to approve the new contract. Okay. All right, but this way we say that what the contract was to do. Exactly. All right, so they don't have to vote on this one. Well, they do. Okay. Uh, Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Trustee Rinders? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Pazmino? Aye. Trustee Lana? Aye. Trustee Fiala? Aye. And Trustee Councilino? Aye. Motion carries. Next would be, is there any new business? Uh, oh, wait, 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 I got number seven. Too fast. Proposal from Imperial Surveillance. Is there a motion to approve the proposal from Imperial Surveillance for the installation and maintenance of the solar power system for the heritage power camera at a cost of 29900 in addition to the 598 per month service contract for a term of 12 months. And there's nothing out here about the percentage. No, there's nothing in the motion because that was new information. I think we could specify in the motion that of whether we want to do the 12 month term and subject to the uh, addendum to the standard commercial security agreement, which a copy of which was on the day as for each trustee. So I think that would be the better way to go about it is to add, include that in the motion. So most of that effect. Right. So, but that would be next week or next mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Any other discussion? We need yes. a motion first. So I needed the motion. Right. So. Second. No, I'm sorry, for a second. Nikki? So it's Trustee for the Alto and Trustee for the Alto. No, it's Trustee for the Alto. I thought I had your voice down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Next okay. So Trustee Piazmino and Trustee Lahat. 
discussion? Discussion. Um, okay. Uh, we got a letter late today from Imperial Service about what they thought might work here. Um, in my conversation with um, some IT people over the past two weeks and with uh, some people that also work with camera systems, uh, the technology is moving very fast for this type of stuff. At the moment, we have three different camera systems and we have another uh, fee that we pay to Imperial, which is $1,677 per month. In addition, this will add another $598 to that. So you're over $2,000 a month for your service fees for a camera system. Um, one of our systems, the way I understand it, we have a server that we provide and that technology with how fast it's moving, my recommendation would be to go ahead and go for the 12 months like you have recommended, sir. Um, but when it comes to the service contract, I think we should only make it where we come back to negotiating that service contract after the 12 months is up because I do want to see this installed before uh, the fest if we can. Uh, so I don't want to slow that down. But when it comes to the service contract, I think if we give it 12 months and we review it after 12 months, we can see where we're at with that $598 service fee and any increases if necessary at all at that point. <coughs> That's right. Uh, That's why I figured a year would be let us learn and see if this is going to be looking for. So I basically I'm saying I'm saying 12 months. With the with the, a review after 12 months to the service contract, no time on the contract right now, and no percentage increase. Well, as part of the addendum to Imperial, it mentions that at the uh, initial term expiration, which in this case would be the 12 months, we would negotiate at that time. But as part of it, they also include that that negotiated rate would not exceed two percent. So we're all saying the same thing. I think we'll just review it at the end of the 12 months. But that's an additional Without any verbiage to the 2% for the year, though. Well, we would have to it, it does. It's any increased cost when renegotiating after expiration of initial contract will not exceed 2% increase annually. Right. And what I'm saying is if we decide to go forward, then that 2% would apply. Right now, we're not agreeing to any percentage till that year is up, and then we look at it. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Correct. Okay. That, it's, a, it's a cap of 2%. I know that's what I had suggested originally until I read the letter. Now I see it a different way. As far as technology and how fast things are moving, I don't want to tie the village into over $2,000 worth of fees on the camera um, monitoring and repairs if we don't need to. So for clarification, are we changing the motion, or is Ruben, you're changing your original motion to include the addendum to the standard commercial security agreement? Are we uh, adding that in there, or are we leaving the motion as is? No, I think that was the intent of the motion, was to include that. Let's do that. Okay. 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 Madam Clerk, could you please follow up? Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Pedamino? Aye. Trustee Lana? Aye. Trustee Fialco? Aye. Trustee Consolino? Aye. And Trustee Reinders? Aye. Motion carries. Next. Is there any old business? Yes, there is, Mr. Mayor. There's an item under old business tonight. All right. Is there a motion to continue approval of ordinance number 21-007 and ordinance approving one and amendments and planning and development? With an exception to reduce the required parking from 267 spaces to 149 spaces. Site plan approval and three variants to exterior construction standards for certain real property in the C3 General Business District of 15624 Marion Drive, Homer Glen, Illinois, case number HG2103 PS. Is there a motion? Someone. Second. Rose, you got the first. And just one more. 
discussion. Um, I just want clarification. It's requested to continue this item to June 9th. Um, so Marion Village can attend. Is that yes. over? Okay. Just want to make sure. Here's a chance to show their residence for this. Sure. Can I ask a quick question also? Um, how, how I know it's got the date of June 9th on here, but I, from being at, at other meetings previous to being a trustee, uh, this has been carrying on for about how long? The uh, March 24th meeting. It was continued to date specific because they were waiting on their annual meeting of their board. Right. So that's why it was continued to date specific. We wanted to. Uh, make sure it covered at this meeting. We were hoping that we would have the information required, but we didn't, so we expect to have that for the June 9th meeting. Weren't they supposed to have some type of meeting also and then report back to us? Correct, which they did hold those meetings without notifying us, um, but they are providing us with a summary and I believe some photographs, and so their representatives will be here to explain any feedback, because that was the direction of the board at the time. Great. Thank you, uh, Any other discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Casmino? Aye. Trustee Fialco? Aye. Trustee Consolino? Aye. Trustee Laha? Aye. Trustee Rangers? Aye. And Trustee Rogers? Aye. Motion carries. Is there any new business? Okay. Uh, the next item is an executive session. Is there a motion to go into executive session for the purpose of discussing personnel? So moved. And it progress to the Okay. So Second. So, Okay. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please call? Trustee Rogers? Aye. Trustee Lahn? Aye. Trustee Consolino? Aye. Trustee Reinhardt? Aye. Trustee Fialco? Aye. And Trustee Kesney? Aye. Okay. We're going into executive session. 